you watch this clip, remember, the same people that think the Great Reset is a conspiracy theory or that Democrats are accidentally destroying America are the same people that think Donald Trump is an idiot. If you hold those beliefs and you watch this clip all the way through, then I think you're going to have to be forced to admit that Donald Trump is intelligent to the point where he's a prophet or the more likely scenario where this is an organized effort to destroy America. Before I took office, there was a lot of folks out there, a lot of folks out there making some pretty bold predictions about how things would turn out. You might remember some of the predictions. They're coming for your guns, they're coming for your jobs, and they're coming for your freedom. They hate American energy, and Joe Biden will shut it all down. He's going to. Uh, that if, if I became president, if Biden's elected, he will wipe out your energy industry. Another prediction that is my favorite one, I must add, is that if I got elected, gas prices going five, six, seven dollars for a gallon. <laughs> Flood your communities with criminal aliens, drugs, and crime while they live behind beautiful gated compounds. They try to take away your guns, Second Amendment, they want to take it away, while they enjoy private security that's fully armed. I never understood that one. You spent trillions of dollars rebuilding foreign nations, fighting foreign wars, and defending foreign borders. So for all those predictions of doom and gloom six months in, Here's where we stand. Do you want to use the word recession or depression? Think of the single mom struggling to put food on the table each month. You know, it's, uh, it's sad. So if your primary concern right now is inflation. We could stop it in 30 minutes. When I took office. He finally went outside. He went to get an ice cream. Look, the bottom line is this. I say you're not doing a very good job. Because he can't take any questions now from the press. Or maybe this is all just a coincidence and you believe that these Democrat policies that he predicted are making Americans' lives better and increasing their standard of living and quality of life. 